I have never been in a situation in my life, however tragic, where I didn't see some kind of just growing up the way I grew up. Norman Milton Lear grew up in New Haven, Connecticut. His father, Herman, gave him the nickname Meathead. Let me tell you something, Mr. Bunker. No, let me tell you something, Mr. Stivic. You are a meathead. <laughs> what did you call me? I am meathead, dead from the neck up. Meathead. Herman favored colorful expressions, often encouraging Norman's mother, Jeanette, AKA Dingbat, to stifle. Will you stifle? <laughs> Young Norman was an astute observer, never forgetting the experiences or words that shaped him. One day, while listening to his crystal radio, he heard Catholic priest Father Coughlin preach anti-Semitism. We believe in Christ's principle, and I challenge every Jew in this nation to tell me that he does not believe in it. Norman remembered that sermon for the rest of his life. And when the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor, he left the safety of college to enlist in the Army Air Corps. I wanted to be known as a Jew who served, he'd later say. After the war, Norman moved his young family to Los Angeles and tried his hand at writing for television variety shows. It wasn't long after that he made his mark with films, earning an Oscar nomination for divorce American style. But all the while, the country was facing social turmoil and a revolution of ideas. Bombs in Vietnam exploded home. Stunned by the banality of television, Norman put a spotlight on the issues of the day and made us confront our own humanity. He made television accountable and changed its role in our culture forever. To his great delight, Norman was placed on Nixon's enemies list. And yes, there's a tape. When the moral majority proclaimed the United States a Christian nation, Norman became a full-time activist. He founded People for the American Way, wrote television specials that celebrated our liberty. You can call me old boy, but let's just keep it simple. Uh, just call me Flag. In 2000, Norman bought an original copy of the Declaration of Independence and toured it around the country so kids could see the nation's birth certificate. Norman, you're a patriot, a family man, our friend, one of the most influential producers of our time. And for that, we the people are grateful.